film aerochrome replacement. Well, kinda. Using this cheap black and white rolly infrared film and a special film camera to take three individual half frame images all at once, filtering the light in just the right way to create trichrome color layers. Then, when all three are combined, the result looks very similar to Kodak Aerochrome. That's the basic idea. So I packed up my bag and headed out to downtown Benicia to capture some color infrared light. Let's go. Now that we've finished up the roll, just have to pop this up, push the rewind, and go. So here we can finally see the three different lenses and the half frames that get created. Pretty interesting little mechanism. If we pull this, this is what cocks the shutter, like that. Pretty fun little camera. I'm excited to see what the images finally look like. The only issue with this new design could be that this 720 filter partially blocks the lens. So hopefully that's not the case. But otherwise, I'm liking the new design. Much more compact than old version, old version was much larger. All right, well, I'm going to send this as well as another roll 
that I took on the old version to a, a new lab and see, see what comes out. Wish me luck. So now that we've taken the infrared images on black and white film, we can stitch them together in a software like Photoshop, or in my case, I'm using Affinity Photo for the iPad. So what we can first do, um, I already have finished this edit, but I'm gonna go back through and kind of show you how I um, added the uh, necessary uh, components or layers to kind of fix this image into a infrared aerochrome like image. So the first thing is uh, it's gonna start off as a stack. So this is the infrared uh, filtered image and this is kind of gonna become our red layer. So we can add a channel mixer to add the red and then for the other two layers, we add blue and we add green. Right now, uh, the stack is going to, is um, doing a median, so it creates a black. But if we just go to a total, you can start to see our infrared image coming through. So now that we have that, we see these, um, they're not quite aligned. So what we have to go and do is fix the perspective shifts that uh, occurred uh, because of the three lenses. And uh, for the blue channel, the blue channel is a little dark. So what I do is I add an exposure adjustment to that layer. Then um, I do some shadows and highlights. Uh, I do a, a HSL shift uh, on the, the total. You can kind of see uh, and the, the pink to just uh, get a, a bit more of a reddish hue to the infrared layer. And then I add a curve in the LAB space on lightness A opponent and B opponent um, to just bring out those reds a little bit more. And then we have our final image. What you'll then want to do is go and you know crop it in either you know this software or another software just to get the right aspect ratio and remove some of these overlapping layers. And that's what I did for all of the different images uh, that I took on the film. It takes uh, quite a bit of time, but once you get the process down, you can copy from one to the next with mostly just the curb layer and the perspective shifts that you will need to adjust. Hopefully that helps you uh, in editing your trichrome uh, infrared images. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. Here's one more for the road. See ya.